Welcome to Prayer and Bible Ben, Lesson 2, Second Week. Breaking Free from Depression. Central Verse. Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 7, King James Version. Key Terms. Despondency. The state of being extremely discouraged or extremely low in spirits. Dejection. Loneliness of spirits. Overwhelmed. Overcome by force or numbers. Completely overcome or overpowered by thought or feeling. Introduction. Sometimes believers find it difficult to talk about some of the emotions they feel. Being a believer, they feel like they should never feel the spirit of depression because it seems to make their relationship with God less than what it should be. These feelings cause frustration and make the life difficult to bear. However, he needs to know that depression is one of the human race's most common and distressing problems. In the world we are a part of, suicide has become a national epidemic. Many people suffer from depression, sadness, despair, or hopelessness are at a risk of suicide because they have no relationship with the Master to give them hope. A man without hope is in trouble because he is tormented and has nothing stable in his life to sustain him. But that man needs to know that depression is not the end of the line for him. It may be his present situation, but there is hope for him. He cannot afford to give up. Thinking the worst has come upon him. However, knowing and developing a relationship with Jesus will bring him peace, strength, and healing love into his life. The healing power of love can heal, deliver, and set a person free from all powers of depression. Discussion Depression is a feeling of severe despondency and dejection. Some of the symptoms of depression may include a depressed mood most of the day, a sense of sadness, emptiness, hopelessness, a feeling of sorrow and weeping for simply no reason. It includes losing interest or pleasure in things and activities you once enjoyed, a noticeable weight loss or uncomfortable weight gain, a decrease or increase in appetite, or having difficulty sleeping or tired all the time. When a person finds himself experiencing any of these symptoms, he needs to stop and take a mental inventory of himself. King Saul was an example of a man who fell into a deep spirit of depression. God chose him to be the king of Israel. He rose from an ordinary family to become the leader of God's people. He was anointed to be the king over God's people, and he had all that he needed at his disposal to become successful. But he would not allow God to direct his path. He became very disobedient to the leading of God, and God allowed his spirit to depart from him. Saul was yet the king, but the removal of God's spirit from him allowed an evil spirit to enter him. This spirit brought spirits of anger, jealousy, and murder upon Saul. He became very despondent and became filled with violence until he wanted to kill David. It could have been that he had the knowledge of David being anointed as king, and this tormented him. Then we have the example of David, who was troubled and battled deep despair over the events of his life. He was in deep anguish, loneliness, fear of his enemies, regret over his sin-filled life, and the guilt that he felt because of sin that he struggled with. The turmoil among his children and the loss of his son led him to become overwhelmed with his life. He cried out over and over in his writings about his feelings of depression, realizing that only God could help him. Out of his depression, he was able to leave on record positive writings that would inspire readers for centuries to turn to God and to trust Him for deliverance. He understood that as a righteous man, he could cry unto God, and God, in His love and mercy, could and would speak deliverance to every believer who called on His name, trusting and believing God that He would be healed, saved, and set free. Each believer must come to understand that Jesus came to set the captives free from the power of sin and all of his attributes. 
Depression is one of the attributes of sin that easily besets believers. Depression is real, and many church people struggle with it. Many people are hurt in the church and struggle inward without any real hope. Therefore, they find it extremely hard to connect with God under the weight of their hurt. The Bible is the best source to find answers when a believer finds himself struggling with depression. The Bible gives a picture of Job, a man that God testifies about as he comes face to face with his hurt and depression, as he laments the day of his birth. But amid the pain, anguish, and suffering he experienced, he found hope in his God. Conclusion To break free of depression, the believer must give himself to the healing power of God. He was praising and worshiping him and giving himself to the service of others. When Job prayed for his friends, he received the deliverance that he needed from God. To break free, the believer must forget about himself and concentrate on his heavenly Father. God will give every believer the determination needed to preserve until deliverance comes. Then he will need to get rid of all fears that will try to hold him in bondage. God will renew him as he loves God, reads God's word, and thank him for his strength. And he will bask in the power, love, and soundness of mind that God gives his children. For all that he needs, God's hand will provide. He has promised to give every believer protection, direction, and substance. But the believer must ask and believe God for it. Questions. Number one, what causes a person to become depressed? Number two, how can he overcome depression? Number three, does depression come to a believer because of sin? Number four, name a biblical character who was depressed. Number five, tell how God delivered him. Essential thought, a psalm a day will keep depression away. Thank you for listening and for more information about this lesson. Please see kojic.org. And to God be the glory.